Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to waterproof your servos for your RC trucks. Anyways, just a few supplies you'll need. You'll need a Phillips number one head, which works great for removing the screws out. You also need some waterproof grease, and I prefer liquid tape over the Plasti Dip. A lot of people like to plastic dip them. I figure with the way I do it, I just take and fill in the gears with some waterproof grease and I liquid tape the screws and the wires and just around this back edge to make sure that no water gets in. You can plastic dip if you want. Sometimes I have a hard time getting some of it to stick to some of these servo boxes the way you'd like especially if you're only dipping part of it but in my opinion the liquid tapes pretty simple brush it on and you're good to go so we'll go ahead and we'll start disassembling this uh, one tip before you start tearing this apart your servo is to make sure that you test it out on your RC truck make sure that it functions some places will go ahead and warranty them if there's a defect with them and they'll replace it for free or refund your money. So I highly recommend you test it out first, make sure it functions. If it functions, go ahead and waterproof it because once you do that, once you waterproof it, nobody will warranty it. So I've tested it, this one does work great and we'll go ahead and we'll start tearing it apart here. It's pretty simple little process easy I've, like I said I've seen several different ways people waterproof these on the internet hey you can do whatever works best for you this is how I prefer to do it. I kind of like a little bit of both worlds, you know. So we'll go ahead and we tear apart the back side. You can see your electronics down in there. And we'll pop this front side off. And there's all your gears and your bearing. And we'll go ahead and we'll remove this bearing here real quick. Well, I guess it's on there. So we'll just leave it on there. And we'll pack it full of grease all the way around it. And also fill the top end here with some water resistant grease to make sure no water gets in. And then we'll seal the back end with liquid tape. So here we go. I do like this little needle point on my grease gun. Works really great for getting back behind everything. like to get behind these gears especially just to make sure nothing gets into where your motor is a little back behind that gear and in between plus it helps keep these gears running pretty smooth and you won't have any problems with it I think it kinda reduces the noise that sometimes they will produce when they're under immense torque. Okay, put some in the cap here just so we can make sure when we squeeze it out it'll get all oozed out everywhere and it'll pack that thing nice and tight. <laughs> and that's what she said. Can't help myself. Okay, I'm gonna get our grease gun out of the way. We'll go ahead and we'll line these back up and squeeze them out. And if you happen to have a rag handy, or a shop towel, whatever you'd like to use, I just 
always have extra rags on hand. Like I said, everybody's got their technique. This works for me. Doesn't take too terribly long. Okay. Let's make sure the back side here is get everything lined back up again. Slide that little boot down in there a little bit. And there goes our screws. Usually I like to pull out a magnet and kind of keep those in place. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and what I do with this liquid tape is I like to take and I like to put a little bit on this boot. And you can get this liquid tape at almost any hardware store. Put a little bit on there. That way you can make sure no moisture gets in at all. bit on this back side it's crude but it works it's all that matters okay tuck that little chip back down in there and then I just like to put a run a little bit a little bead around the edge here to make sure when we close this up it has a nice good seal All right, if you get a little bit on everything, it's not going to hurt anything. Okay, you can see our little bead of liquid tape on there. Now we'll take and we'll line up our back cap. that to snap shut. There we go. It is kind of a messy process. And then we just slide our screws back in. I always like to have a few servos ready, especially for when I'm out and about. I've busted them before, so it's just easy enough to have one ready to go, and you can put that bad boy in real quick, and off you go. Snug down all your screws. And you'll see your liquid tape will squeeze out a bit. And so will your grease. Try not to over tighten them considering you are screwing into plastic and you'll just strip it out. It's basically snug it till you Feel a nice little bit of resistance and you'll be good to go. Okay, we've got that part done. Now, just wipe off this excess grease that squeezed out. Okay. Now, where I did get a little bit of grease on the back side, I do want to clean it off a little bit. So I'm going to clean it off here with some dielectric uh, cleaner.
just like to spray a little bit on a, a rag. Kind of wipe that off on the back side a little bit. Let's see you now it kind of polishes up nice and pretty. That way then your electric liquid electric tape will stick nice and pretty and you won't have any problems with any water leaking past. Like my shop towels or my rags. Just whatever old stuff I have and works beautiful. Okay. And then I generally I will coat the screws because this will ensure making sure that no water gets past them. If you don't, you could get water leakage and short out your servo. And then you will be replacing it out on the trail. Get a little bit of uh, this liquid tape on your wires to make sure nothing's going to seep past on them. I just like to coat this back side all the way around. And I generally will put two coats. I'll weigh about half an hour in between. And it works pretty good. Here, I'll flip this over that way we'll make sure we get this other side of this wire. If we don't, we could be in trouble later. So we'll get a nice little gob of liquid tape on that. Good deal. Now it's waterproofed. And it's pretty easy to do. You can do it too. Hopefully this video will help you out along with any others you might have watched. For me, it's just simple, easy, and that's that. So enjoy and thanks for watching.